partners with my accountant want at this hour. <laughs> Is Tracy about to discover some missing funds? That's my problem. Seems to me you've got plenty of your own. Look, Dodge. I stringently refrain from all fatherly advice. However, I am the world's leading authority in all things Casanova. Oh, I've seen how you deal with Nicholas. I mean, how you put up with that pompous ass is beyond me. I have learned to put up with him. And believe me, it's been a challenge. I mean, why put up with him at all? Because he's Laura's son. That makes him Lulu and Lucky's brother. I've learned, for the sake of the family, to put my feelings aside. Well, and now you expect me to do the same? No, forget it. He's playing Rebecca like a puppy to work out his sick obsession with a dead wife. Yeah, well, that shouldn't surprise you. All Cassidines are very loosely wrapped, and they all have a strong, morbid streak. And look, I get that you don't care about Rebecca. But I do. Well, then you better make damn sure she's worth it. Because if you go up against Nicholas, you're gonna drag your siblings into it, and it will get ugly. My subterfuge? That's quite a vocabulary you got there. Al although you may deny it, you too sense the futility in attempting to win fair Lulu's heart. Are you kidding? I have to think Lulu likes me. The evidence to support such a hypothesis is decidedly murky. All right, you know what, can we get back to business here? I need you to walk me through Sonny's day-to-day -day operations. Lulu is consistently annoyed by your attentions. Lulu likes to be annoyed. As far as I can tell, that's one of her favorite hobbies. Or so you try to convince yourself. Look, if Lulu wanted to, she could turn around whenever she saw me coming, but she doesn't. She sticks around, she puts up with my lame come-ons and throws them right back at me. It's a game we play. A game that seems to have no possibility of a remotely satisfying conclusion. Why don't you work with me here, Spindle? You guys gotta protect his ego. Hey, hey Spindle. Yes. Let's see. Uh, please, would the Mod Prince be so kind to explain that Fair Lulu will never respond to Dominic's clumsy wooing? <laughs> That's what she requested. Thanks so much. Look, Spinelli, whatever's going on between Don and Lulu, it's none of my business, all right? T, no one's worried about Lulu except for you. Okay, I'm, I must ask the mob prince to reflect on his... No, 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 I'm here to collect a flash drive for Bernie. You got it handy? Yes. Um, please inform the Bernificent One that all the facts and figures are complete. Thank you. Okay, and I, I would be a poor friend of Lulu if I did not make one last appeal for the mob prince to discourage the audacious one from his dogged pursuit of her loveliness. Look, what is the big deal if I ask Lulu out? It's not like she's going to say yes. Fair Lulu's heart has been bruised on multiple occasions. She does not need roughnecks requesting to see her in kinky costumes. Kinky costumes? Long story. And she didn't take offense to that. She deserves the consideration and kindness of a true gentleman. Which I happen to be. Then speak to her as such. Okay. Spinelli, Lulu's a big girl. We both know that. If she wants to send little Don back in, she will. I apologize, but I am, I'm overdue to save the world. <laughs> Could you be more specific? Yes, I, I volunteered for the I Participate campaign. It's a worthy cause, and it's fun and sociable. So this evening I shall have the charitable endeavor of providing cyber support to a community effort to regreen our fair city. So I must ask you to take your leave. Stone Cold does not allow unattended guests. <sighs> Adios. Your sweet time. I came as soon as you called. What's up? Did Ethan dip his sticky little fingers into the cash box? Yet? No, actually, his larceny seems to be under control. I'm not that sure about his love life. Tell me everything you know about the Ethan, Rebecca, Nicholas triangle. Why do you care? I don't care about Nicholas and Rebecca. You care about Ethan? I care about him provoking a Cassidine with inbred psychotic tendencies. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't, don't even start in on Nicholas. He's my brother. I love him. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you run him down. That would be my concern. What are you talking about? I have a feeling that things are going to get ugly, and I'd hate to see you get caught in the middle. Here I am, 
Looking for a game of chance, and who's the first person I see? What's I'm a tomorrow head. No. This is uh, worse than your normal put downs. Have I done something to piss you off, or is it something serious? Hey, you okay? No, well, not really. Is there anything I can do to help? It's not about me, it's, it's my brother Ethan. Who's he with? Our father. That's the infamous Luke Spencer. Come on, you gotta introduce me. Let's go. Dominic, stop. Okay, stop. Dad, this is... Uh, hi, Dominic Ferrelli, a friend. He's not a friend, he's... Pleased to meet you, sir. Well, Mr. Ferrelli, are you new to town? He works for Sonny. You have a terrific daughter, sir. And if she just actually have a conversation with me, you'd probably be seeing me around. Let's hope not. you bad news. That would be Lulu's call, and isn't your fight card pretty full right now, pal? <laughs> okay, that's good. We're done. Conversation I was done. just getting started. Yeah, well, my dad's busy with Ethan. Why are you so worried about Ethan? Because he has a lot to get used to. He needs to learn some tolerance. Oh, yeah, you're telling me. Well, he's new to the family. It's only been a few months since he and my dad found out that they're related to each other. Well, maybe they're making up for some lost time. Looks like they're pretty tight right now. What about you? Do you ever think about finding your phone? Go. Hot cider. It's a spot, right? Definitely, thank you. My pleasure. See, aren't you glad I convinced you to hang around with me a little longer? I'm glad that's a little ambitious. Let's just say I'm not sorry yet. I'll take it. Okay, but you still have your end to hold up. You said that if I would have cider with you, you would give me an honest answer to my question. Uh, you are really fascinated with me, huh? Uh, again, ambitious. Let's say that I'm not bored. But I do have a low threshold, so if you don't have anything fascinating to say, I can take off. Okay, look, I am a man of my word. A real answer you shall have. What was the don't question? Don't dodge this. Do you ever think about trying to find your father? Well, I don't just think about it. I, uh, I found him. Hey, uh... 